Welcome to the channel everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Spot Clean Pro Heat 5207 series. This is a remanufactured one from Bissell. Uh, you can get these for about $110 online. I bought this directly uh, from the company. Uh, like I said, this is a remanufactured one. You can get a new one at eBay probably or uh, probably at Walmart for about $120. So by ordering this on eBay directly from the company, I saved about 10 bucks. So we're gonna take a look at it and I thought this would be a nice addition to all my tools because I do a lot of auto detailing too on some of my vehicles. I had one of the older ones, had the smaller catch tanks and all that on it. But this in here is a little bit bigger. So I think this in here may actually work a little bit better for me and I won't have to dump these tanks out and uh, kind of change out the water as much so we'll take this out of the box and look at it all right so basically it came like this uh in the mail although it just had one big piece of tape on the top of it and part of the tape was missing so i got lucky nothing actually came out so uh you take it apart here uh, you have some cardboard on the top and there's the actual machine itself and you do get this uh nice manual here We'll kind of look through that here in a minute and we'll pull this out like this all right so we'll kind of sit that down like that we can kind of look at it there and uh it looks pretty nice and we've got some more pieces in here we got another piece of cardboard on the bottom and they do send you a nice little uh, spot stain. Now, it's very important with these cleaners that you only use what they sell you or what's available. Because if you go put any other chemicals in here, you can damage seals. You can turn the plastic color. You can have the plastic crack through chemical reactions and all that. So if you want to have these machines to last a long time, you really got to read the instructions and use only the stuff they uh, tell you that's safe for it. So put that off the side. We've got a cleaning brush here it's got the scrubber here in the bottom and you got the suction tool here and you have um, this little tool here that actually uh, holds up the hose on the back of it and let's and see and of course we've got my bill of sale okay so there's everything we've got with it and the manual so uh, it looks pretty good. So let's take a closer look at it. All right, so here's a little bit closer look at it. It's actually uh, pretty big. Kind of hard to get in the camera view here in the frame. Um, basically, on the back here, you have your electric cord. And here on the back, you have this guy here that goes up like this. And this actually goes around, I believe, the front like this. And back down like that if you want to put it in storage and there's the on and off button and on the back here you have a place to wrap your cord around so uh, it's uh, pretty nice and the hose here I was kind of concerned about how long this hose is so we're going to measure it real quick we'll put a tape measure on it there for you guys all right so we got our tape measure out here don't laugh <laughs> I use this on tires a lot find the diameter on all-wheel drives when you're changing out tires I always use one of these to make sure the diameter is of the tires are perfect so the hose is about 35 inches long so we've got almost a three foot hose and uh, if I stretch it out I think you can kind of get the idea here so and uh, you can set this somewhere where it's level now this is a little bit different from the uh, other spot clean for pets the other one has like a scrub brush down here so you have to really look at these and be careful because the other one looks exactly like that and um, it's not really designed to do spots on your seats for cars and stuff from what I can tell this is more what you want something like this and there's the attachment basically all you do is slide this on and you have a little button right here and clips on and you got a trigger here this is the little sprayer you spray on the carpet and you can scrub and when you're scrubbing you kind of use it like this suck up the dirt and the water dirty water will go in the catch tank and all that and let's see to take this off like i said earlier you just kind of push this button here here and really that's all you get now there are other, other attachments for sale it will show you in the manual and on here it just shows the actually uh, the big one here they actually call it a uh, deep stain tool uh, removal cleaner 
and I guess there's a smaller one, but that I'm not sure what that is there. But this is the one that actually came with it, and the manual is pretty uh, nice. There's a lot of information in here how to protect this, how to keep it going for quite some time. And one other thing is, I know you put water in, in here, and this is a catch tank, and you're working with water. This is not waterproof. Do not leave this out in the rain. I don't work with it in the rain. It has to stay dry because there is a thermal protector in here if it gets wet or the temperature rises too much and thing gets hot it will kick off and takes about 30 minutes for the thing to reset and all that information is also in the manual all right so i was kind of wondering about this piece here and i finally figured out what this is for here when you take the hose i guess and wrap it around here like this you can actually put this on the front and this is supposed to i guess somehow go down here like this and this can go back around the top um, you know if you just if you're leaving it in storage and you're not putting it back in the box but if you're putting it back in the box uh, you may have to take this off if you're still using the uh, shipping cartons that came with it but uh, just kind of be careful uh, this here you could break it but actually you know it's flexible it feels pretty good so uh, just so you know and let's see let's go ahead and pull off on the tanks now I've read a lot of reviews and I had a smaller one and it leaked a lot but what I found out a lot of people are using these the wrong way what you have to do is push down and pull out like that and you have this little guy right here that actually rides up against this plastic and keeps this tank uh, pretty solid and doesn't let it vibrate around and move around and on the bottom here there is our seal this is the dirty water that gets uh, put in here as you're kind of cleaning your carpet or whatever. Now the trick is, on the bottom here, when you put these back in, a lot of people complain, said they leak. Well, what they're not doing right is, you've got to make sure this is seated in here. These are little seals. And this keeps this tank sealed. And when it's just about full, no matter if you've got water in the clean side or on the dirty side, Try not to tip it too much because if you go to tippers, it's going to move this tank around a little bit and you might break that seal and you might get a little bit of water in it, just so you know. So these tanks are pretty easy to remove. Nothing to really do uh, here. You just kind of... But I find if you just pull straight out on it, it works pretty good because on the top here, you have a little catch release right there. See that? So I don't think it really matters unless I need to go back and reread the manual, but... Put the tank in like that and push on it and there's that and this one one over here on this side is the let's see this is the that's the dirty I believe this is the clean I could be wrong but push out like that so and here's the uh, okay this is a yeah this is the clean tank and you can see here, you do have some instructions on the tank. If you're doing something small, like a small area, you only put so much uh, cleaner and formula in it. And if you're doing a large area, you know, you can put the water level up to here and put a little boost in it. It says one ounce uh, a boost, but it really depends on how much water you're putting in here. And of course, it says right there, clean. Okay, so put this back on. Before we do that, uh, you can see right here, this is the... Uh, breather for the tank goes like that and you got to make sure you get that up very pretty tight which is kind of interesting it goes against this piece of plastic in the back it doesn't do a whole lot so I'm not sure why that's there but anyway now on this side in order for it not to leak we've got a rubber seal right here I don't know if you can see that it's a little o-ring this is why you can't use chemicals you can't use uh, bleach or anything like that I only use what they give you for cleaning what's available because these seals can crack dry you know and start falling apart and when they do this is where you're gonna have trouble of it leaking so you can see down here it says uh, heat wave technology now it says when you put water in the uh, fresh tank you can use tap water hot water apparently it will continue to kind of keep the water warm because heat wave technology i'm not sure where exactly the wire would be to keep that water a little warm unless once it sucks out of here it goes through maybe a filter or some kind of a heater or something 
That's something I'll look into later, which is not really important. But in order for this thing not to leak, just make sure you put this down in here like this and just push on it. Pretty simple. You may have to take your other hand and kind of hold it like this and pull out a little bit. And here's where you put the water in and you drain it. So there we go. So, so far, it uh, looks like it's going to be kind of a fun thing to actually use. All right, so one other thing we want to do here real quick is to measure this because a lot of people can't tell just by pictures how big it is. So uh, it looks like it's about 14 inches wide and about 15 inches tall. So it's fairly large. I think you're going to really uh, like it. If you buy one of these, it'll feel like you actually got your uh, money's worth. You got some value here. Also, what they send with it, like I talked about earlier, uh, the spot stain removal. This is just basically a... Uh, kind of a commercial uh a teaser if you will just kind of a trial size thing and there's about eight ounces here so you could probably even get this at walmart if you run out and also well the boring stuff here here's the manual we'll look at it real quick here all right so you've got uh lots of uh instructions here i went through it there's not a lot of technical stuff basically the simple stuff is like how to you know operate it what to do, what not to do, how to store it, how to kind of hook up your hoses. They even give you a uh, uh, different um, thing here you can buy for uh, products for cleaning. And you can see they have their own little marketing thing going there with cleaners. And there's the other page. And you can see the tools and in the back. How to empty and fill up the catch tank and all that. And if you don't have any uh, issues then you're good but if you have an issue then you got a troubleshooting uh, page here in the back and some more cleaning formulas so and finally on the last page here there is a thing here that says attention remanufactured models are only covered by a six month warranty which is just fine and there's some numbers here you can call if you have any problems with it and all that so there's a nice look at the manual and uh, I think I would be pretty happy with it I think the key here is treat it right and it'll treat you right don't put any harmful chemicals in it don't try to suck up oil gas anything that's going to damage any of the seals or maybe crack this plastic or anything like that chemicals will kill plastic before you know it and i think this thing will last a long time so i think i've covered just about everything here uh for now so let's go ahead put some water in it and we'll go out here and see if we can get one of my truck seats clean we'll do a little test area see what I think and see if I like it all right guys you can see the seed here is pretty dirty especially the back of it so what we're going to do we're going to just spray some of this oxidizer on here a little bit or boost whatever they want to call it and I let it soak for about 10 to 20 minutes and that's when you will get your best results if you just spray this on and start just doing this it's not going to come up off as fast you really need to let this soak in or any liquid products for that matter to soak in and also I've got the uh, container kind of sitting down here on the floor and you have to kind of uh, set it the way it works best for you because you can this does not spin around this is all connected as one piece so you kind of got to figure out the best way to put that make sure you have enough hose before you even start and that's where that's at so let's go ahead and turn this on it's probably going to be a little loud let's see how loud it is oh that's not too bad Alright, so we'll go ahead and let me turn the camera here. Okay, now we'll go ahead and just pull this trigger here and uh, start spraying some of this. But one other thing here I wanted to show you real quick is when you pull this on and off, there are little O-rings right here. Keep an eye on these. If you see one missing or torn, you may have to replace it. These look like just standard O-rings. They are two of them. That goes in here for the sprayer, so it's very important. Just so you guys know. Alright, now let's go ahead and turn it back on. And start spraying a little bit here and see what we can get. Okay, so I think that's enough of that oxidizer. We're just going to do one part and do the other side uh, a little bit later. I want to see what it looks like once we get this clean. Take the brush. And scrub it around a little bit. Oh, 
All right, so you can see we got a little bit of soapy uh, stuff there uh, kind of uh, pulling up. Now, here's a trick that a lot of people know about. This is what I like to do when I put down some uh, uh, products, some moisture, uh, some soap, water, whatever, and let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes. To make it work a little bit better, I like to take a towel or just maybe a piece of plastic and lay over this area. That way we don't let this water evaporate, especially if it's a really dry day outside, low humidity. I let that water kind of get down into the cloth and let it soak a little bit and when you do that it should come off clean pretty well all right so it's been 20 minutes i had to go inside and do a couple of things and uh still nice and wet and let's go ahead and turn this on and pull this up and see what our catch can looks like and see how much this side looks different from that side let's go ahead and turn this on now, if you want, when you're sucking this up, you can still spray a little bit of liquid in here, but the whole idea is to get this up. I'm going to turn this around where you can actually see it. You just take your time at it. Well, I can see a lot of dirt getting sucked up. Oh, yeah. tell a difference already. Nice. The whole idea is to go slow with it. Alright, so it looks a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and scrub it down one more time. I gave it another shot of liquid. Alright, let's turn it back on. I'm not pulling the trigger. I'm not putting any water on it. I'm just letting it soak up what's already there. All right, well, what a difference. Look at that side. It's much lighter than that side, so I'm going to go ahead and do the whole seat. But before we do that, let's go ahead and check out this uh, catch can, see how dirty the water looks. All right, guys, here's the strange thing. I thought I would have used a lot more water, but apparently I didn't use too much water. The level was down just a little bit. And we got just a little bit in the bottom of this tank, hardly anything in here. So you really have to use this whole thing. And this probably would fill up an inch or two because obviously you're not going to get all the water out of the seat that you put into it. But hey, let's just go ahead and finish up the seat.
All right, everyone, after about a half hour or so, I'm really happy. Boy, I got all those stains out, even the back of it there. Remember how black that was? That's all gone. So I think I'm going to be really happy with it. Didn't get a whole lot of uh, moisture in the catch can. As you can see here, I don't have a lot of moisture in the catch can. And to be fair, I didn't really use that much. It, I think I've used maybe half of what I had. There's probably a quarter of what I had in there, but uh, you can see it's... Uh, not leaking any down here it's nice and dry so this is how you use this you got to be very careful with it just treat it gently and it should make you a very happy person all right after getting that seat fairly clean what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and do the passenger side and I'm going to go ahead and clean up this back bench seat and it's yeah it's pretty nasty uh, some food a lot of stains there so we're going to clean all this up and we'll come back here and show you what it looks like before we wrap the video up. And uh, I paid for this thing out of my own pocket. I am not a sponsor. I'm just saying if you guys like to detail cars, uh, it's nice to have, you know, something like this. So uh, I'll see you back here after I uh, do some more cleaning. And as you can see on the driver's side, check his seat up. Remember how black this was back here? Boy, it looks good now dried pretty fast now still got just a little tiny stain i don't know if you can see that but that looks like it's probably some kind of glue or something armrest looks good and remember the back here we had all this food uh, some mildew mold or whatever boy what a difference check this out entirely different so i'm really happy with this guy so if you want to you know flip cars and make sure they're nice and clean on the inside this is what people like to see you know this is a good selling point I think one of these things um, to buy would be a really good investment or just have one in general on standby in case of emergencies. All right, so now having said all that, on to the tank. Let's go ahead and take it in here. I just got a couple other little things here I want to briefly talk about. Man, I can't believe how nice that looks. And I actually might just keep this truck myself uh, and drive it. Um, the only thing I wish about this and I understand, I wish this here would, you could actually turn this, but it's, it's, con, it's connected as a one, as a one piece here, um, as one piece is what I'm trying to say. So when you get into a tight corner, if you turn this enough, you gotta be careful, you can kind of kink this. And, uh, the other thing is, which I think everybody else will agree, I wish they had this maybe a foot and a half longer, maybe four or five foot, but that's just me, it's probably okay for most people. And uh, the other thing here is, and I can understand why they probably don't let this turn, because this has to seal 100% for the vacuum to actually work properly, probably because it doesn't have a very big um, motor in it, and the engineers have to figure all this stuff out when they're building it. And the other thing is, um, I used one and a half fresh water, the catch tank. <sighs> eh, you know, look at that. Not quite half full. Now the other thing I wanted to show you on the bottom here is, if you turn it sideways, it'll leak a little bit, obviously, but a lot of people complain about this, and this is not happening to me. Look how dry it is in here. These seals, as long as you get this on here properly, it will not leak. And let's go ahead and check out the fresh water tank. And I'll show you the same thing over here. And look at that, bone dry. No leaks whatsoever, so just keep an eye on these seals. Don't tear them. And like I said earlier, read the manual and don't go putting chemicals into the mix here that you're not supposed to. So let's go ahead and empty this uh, nasty catch can. All right, so let's go ahead and empty this out. And I see the way you do that is, uh, well, you just turn this. Okay. I was like, I need to go back and read that manual again, I think. And dump it out. And take and get some fresh water, clean it out really good. And on the side here, it says um, to reduce the risk of electrical shock, always install float before any wet pickup operation. All that. So, and you might want to wash this out. There's a apparently there's a float in here that keeps the water from backing back out through this tank. And uh, simply put it all back together. Make sure you uh, put it in here right. There's a little indentation right there. And put this back on. Let's see this. Yeah, and there's a little little plastic seal there. Now they should have probably put a seal around this on the bottom. That would have been a really smart thing to do. But as long as that's on there like that, is there 
Well, actually, you know what? My bad. There is a seal there. All right, there is, so there is a small, very small seal there. So make sure it's nice and clean. Simply put it back together, and uh, other than that, so I think you could probably, if you're doing a big job, you can probably let this fill up quite a bit. There's no markings on her to say dump it out at a particular level. So having said that, well, that's uh, about it, guys. All right, guys, having said all that, there's one nice look there to get you motivated and get your vehicle or whatever cleaned up on the inside. And uh, there's one more quick look at the back. Really happy with it. There you go, guys. Hope you like this video. And if you're watching, let me know where you're watching from. I'll see you later.